probably have noticed this, like when you're at a networking event, and one of the questions that we that you always get asked, like, what do you do? And, and you begin to explain, and, and you start to talk, and you can see them like, no way. Oh my gosh, you're in HR? Boy, what what that's like. <laughs> and, and the questions come up, and they just, they lean in, they're really, or you start to explain what you do, and they're like, <laughs> and, uh, and the first words out of your mouth, that label, boom, it's done. And they lean in, they want to know more, or they snap off. Because really, what, what's that first label we have to get past is, do I want to know more, or do I really want to, do I just have to wait until they're done talking so we can change the subject? <laughs> and this is the label, and what's the label we want people to see when they meet us? What's that label we want to create? Because in order to represent the organization, we first have to represent ourselves and create that impression. So think very carefully about the words you use. I'm going to show you real briefly um, a quick example of the power of words and the impression, the way it can affect a label. And we see this in songwriting a lot. Have you ever... Um, you know, had a like, favorite song, and then you go to like your kid's uh, band concert, and they're playing your favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> no words. I think I sat through my son's uh, We Will Rock You, the first, his first sixth grade orchestra concert. It was like, oh, <laughs> it's like, there's the melody again. <laughs> Without the words, like it loses that power. Because these words are important. The words are powerful to our imagination and our impressions. Um, all right, I'm gonna, you're going to hear uh, a metaphor in this song, and um, and when you hear the metaphor, and I'm purposely using a song you've never heard before, because we're going to do first impressions and see what you think. And when you hear the metaphor, just think to yourself, what am I communicating? What are the impressions? What's what's the picture that begins to form in your mind? Pretty diamond in the rough. She's a diamond full of special stuff and really tough. Pretty diamond in the rough. I just hope it's enough. Hope it's enough. So those three little words, she's a diamond. What'd you see? What am I telling you about the girl? What'd you see? Shirt. <laughs> I was talking to the cool dude in the green shirt. <laughs> we'll go with the cool girl in the blue dress. Yeah. Um, I, I just pictured a beautiful woman. A beautiful woman. Awesome. What else? What else do people see? Single mom, big boy. <laughs> what else? What else do you see? I thought you were talking about a dog. A dog? Yeah. Interesting. And what does it tell you about the girl? She's tough. She's tough. She's yeah. empowered, as she said. She's no, not, she's not <laughs> polished. She's not polished. She has potential. Has potential. Yeah, lots of possibilities, yes. <laughs> Uh, hard, sharp, multifaceted, one of a kind, precious, valuable, maybe she's really expensive. All these things we get to see when you say she's a diamond. Maybe it's a, a, a cherished dog, a child, a grown woman, a grandmother, someone living a rough life, has this potential inside, or maybe it's like all these different pictures we saw around the room. And I'm going to do the exact same song. I'm going to just take the metaphor out real quick, and I'm going to replace it with an adjective. Now, uh, watch what happens. Just notice the difference between metaphor and adjective and the image that's created. She's so pretty. 
really great. <coughs> she is so pretty. Oh, she's great. Really great. She's so pretty. <laughs> great. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> like, they're basically synonyms. Like, it's saying the same thing, but that metaphor, the whole song sparkles, all these images came out, and then you put in the adjective, and people just start laughing. <laughs> but the whole song goes flat. Yeah. Like, it's just boring, right? Mm -hmm. It goes flat. It's one of a kind. Or it's, it's, it's just ugh, wind out of the sails. And, and you'll see this in songwriting all the time, where the biggest hits on the radio have the most interesting, crazy metaphors. The songs that go on to become iconic, Stairway to Heaven, Hotel in California, they have these, it's metaphor upon metaphor upon metaphor, and you never even actually know what it means. The imagery in our imagination gets charged every time we listen. And look at that metaphor, all the things, everybody in the room got to see something different. And um, what the metaphor does, a really powerful simile, a metaphor does it automatically, is the metaphor is irrational. That's what a metaphor is. She is a diamond. That's impossible. And our brain has a rational side, our brain has an imaginative side. And in order to even comprehend the words, our rational side has to shut off. And our imagination has to turn on just to even understand what I'm saying. And the moment you do that, the moment you turn on your imagination, you begin to write the story. You begin to see it with your own mind. And the song becomes your song instead of being my song. And this is the secret to every hit song. That's what every songwriter dreams of, is that people are out there going, that's our song. We songwriters, we don't write our song. We want the fans to say, that's our song. We're writing their song. And with a brand, are you describing what you do? Are you describing your organization and expecting people to remember and think about it, go on and talk about you? Or are you describing the organization in ways that allows us to use you so we can go talk about ourselves? 